in the context of the Ruliad, where all possible computations exist, do Boltzmann brains represent inevitable observers that will come into qualification as we would consider an observer, so to speak? Or do they fail to qualify as observers because they lack sustained computational reducibility? A very interesting scientific question, which I don't feel that I've answered yet. Mm -hmm. The extent to which observers like us are inevitable in Ruliad. It is, you know, at the level of talking about Boltzmann brains and sort of all things are possible. Yes, occasionally you'll just randomly get a thing that's a bit like us, but that's not, I think, enough to explain what we actually observe. And actually, it's interesting that the thinking about sort of the emergence of brain like things leads you much more into biology than I had expected. In other words, I'd always imagined, I think it, it becomes important that, for example, things like self-replication occur. One of the things to realize is if there was only one mind, things would be very different.